Ever since that time, we have been stuck in the Sisyphusian challenge of making new vaccines and for hoping flu. it's the right one. Yeah, and right? having to keep update them and hoping they're not too mismatched. And then that's what also got me interested in the my, my technology solution, where I was like, some of these other things are never going to work based on my understanding of how the system works. And so I I thought to myself, what if I were to use evolution against itself here? What if I were to take a hundred years sample like 20 different flu strains from the last hundred years where it's mutated for a century and it's mutated just about everywhere it can but those two sites are, are have not mutated all these 20 components share those sites they're identical and then what if i mix all 20 together and i dilute the mixture so that there's not enough of any one of the individual strains to, and there's not enough dose to produce a strain specific response there's not mm -hmm. enough of that component mm -hmm. then if i inject that all the strain, the B cells that only recognize a single strain, they're not, there's not enough vaccine there for them to respond for their one strain. But pumping through our veins, there are these rare but powerful B cells that would recognize that, that conserve site. And if they recognize that conserve site, then from their perspective, all 20 of those things are identical. That site's like 20 times higher concentration, 20 times higher dose of that site because they all share that site. They're different everywhere else, but so they all have that So then it's even shite, more vulnerable. Yeah. It's just hidden in plain sight among all the components. So by mixing them together, we'll dilute out all the parts that all are different the things, yeah. and reinforce the conserve site.